Um, hello, I'm Edward Oliver. I attend Whitney Young High School. I'm about to be a senior in the fall. And the title of my project is The Effects of Fertilizer Formulations on Writer's Growth. Um, um, some background information. Commonly used fertilizers and the fertilizers used in this experiment are made up of three elements, the three most important elements, and those elements are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Um, nitrogen uh, promotes green leafy growth. Plants who have been neglected of nitrogen grow yellowish leaves and usually have weak stems. Um, phosphorus is, a, is important to, for seed germination, root growth, and the setting of fruits and seeds. Um, a deficiency in this element can produce a purplish tinge to leaves. These are some examples. The first plant has been uh, has a deficiency, yeah, deficiency uh, in nitrogen. And as you can see, the pur purplish tinge in the one that's been deprived of phosphorus. Um, continuation. Um, potassium has a job of building starches and sugars, which also contributes to um, root growth, but all, it also contributes to um, resistance against diseases. Um, my question was, what effect does different fertilizer formulations have on the growth of radishes? Um, my hypothesis was because the elements will be evenly distributed in the balanced formulation, which is the one we commonly use in the garden, um, it will have the largest positive effect on the growth of the radishes. Um, radishes were chosen because they're quick germinators and reach maturity in about 20 days, which gave me pretty quick results. Um, the materials were fertilizer formulations in sand and crumb form, 20 radish seeds, 5 pots, soil, and water. Um, these are my fertilizer formulations. Uh, they're in order by greatest to least, from left to right, by the, the nitrogen number. Um, so this, the first one is the 20-20-20. Um, which is a balanced fertilizer. These numbers represent uh, the percentage of each element uh, in the fertilizer. The numbers that are like in order are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And then there's the 1816, the 824, and the 620. Um, info on these fertilizers, the numbers, as I said, are assigned, represent the percentage of the elements in the fertilizers. The 20-20-20 is the balance which uh, is most commonly used. The other three are um, random formulations that uh, me and my mentor decided to use. Um, my procedure was to plant uh, a row of five pots of soil, plant four radish seeds in each pot, the top and the top, the bottom, the left and the right of the pots. Um, I didn't apply uh, fertilizer to the first pot because that was my control, so it would only be watered. Um, also, then I assigned fertilizers to each of the other four pots, uh, watered them and uh, fertilized once a week, but I watered every day too much fertil fertilization could damage the growth of the plants, so we wouldn't want too much of that. Um, uh, then uh, I looked for germination. When I saw that the seeds had germinated and beginning to grow, I took average daily uh, heights in centimeters. And uh, after three weeks, I harvested the radishes and uh, took the average above ground biomass, meaning the stem and the leaves of the of the plants, and uh, then I took the below the root growth or the root biomass, which is basically I took the weight of the radishes because the radishes do represent the root growth. Um, this is my experiment setup, as you can see the five pots. Uh, this is my final results. Um, from left to right, this is the control all the way to the left. This is the balanced fertilizer, which grew nothing. This is the 1816, the 824, and then the 620 is the last one. Um, from a result, you can see uh, um, my 1816 at the end of the project had the highest, was the tallest, second being the 824, third being uh, the 620. As you can see, the balance fertilizer grew nothing, and uh, my control, it grew about at, about 1.5 inches and then it just stayed stable and didn't get any bigger. Um, results continue. This is this is a graph of uh, my above ground biomass and uh, my root biomass. From this, you can see uh, my 824 had the um, the most efficient or what not efficient. Well, the the it, its root was the heaviest, which represents better root growth. Um, and then second and eighth. One 
1816 and then the 620 and the control being really low seeing that it didn't grow that tall so the roots weren't that big. Um, this is a picture of my root growth in order, the control, nothing for the balance, then my 1816, then my 824, and lastly my 620. Uh, in conclusion, based on the results, my hypothesis wasn't supported and it was incorrect. Um, the balance fertilizer actually did the worst. Um, this could have been because the fertilizer was too strong for, for the seeds, and it also could have been because I may have applied too much uh, future consideration would be me would be for me to test different amounts of fertilizer to see if maybe it was um, that I was putting too much or and maybe finding a a right amount that the the balanced fertilizer would do well under um, as far as plant height the eighteen one six formulation had the most positive effect this is probably because of the high percentage percentage of nitrogen. As I said before, nitrogen promotes uh, green leafy growth. Um, uh, as far as root growth, the 18-4 formulation had the most positive effect. Uh, I think this may have been because um, because the nitrogen and uh, potassium were only 8% and 4%, this may have get, given more room for the phosphorus to take action, which allowed uh, there to be more root growth and uh, it slightly beat the 1816 formulation. Um, this is my bibliography. Uh, I would like to give a huge thank you to my mentor, Tom Soulsby and Melody uh, for their support and for making this experiment possible. I would also like to thank my instructors, um, Murphy and Ben, for their guidance and the help to this. And I would also like to thank Shelly and my fellow college first interns. Uh, any questions? Um, the, these were um, formulations that were, were available in the garden. I would have much rather given more research and said, okay, maybe I should use this. But uh, I didn't, these were readily available to me. Already, uh, yeah, these were, yes. Any other questions? Thank you.